Hey everyone. So big news from the Linux world. Linus Torvalds has officially announced the release of Linux kernel 6.17 and this one's packed with a lot of exciting updates. The new kernel brings improved hardware support, better performance, new drivers and tons of updates across file systems, networking and security. Let's take a look at what's new in Linux 6.17. To start off, Linux 6.17 adds support for ARM's branch record buffer extension, PRBE, which improves how branch tracing works on ARM chips, making debugging and performance monitoring smoother. There's also support for AMD's hardware feedback interface, HFI, which helps optimize power and performance. On the Intel side, there's support for Wildcat Lake and Bartlett Lake S processors, while Qualcomm devices get initial support for HEVC H265, and VP9 codecs in the Iris decoder through the V4L2 driver. The update also brings live patching to ARM64 bit systems, meaning you can now apply kernel patches without rebooting. There's support for system call trace points in user mode Linux, BPF support for Long Arch, and a new daemon stat module that makes monitoring memory activity easier. Linux 6.17 even introduces initial proxy execution support which could open new doors for performance and process management in the future. In terms of virtualization and security, the new kernel now supports GICV5, interrupt controllers for KVM on ARM systems, adds app armor controls for AFUNIX sockets, and even includes linear temporal logic monitors for better runtime verification. There's also a new option to reserve space for kernel crash dumps, plus improvements to bandwidth control for C groups and better handling of transparent huge pages on IBM's S390 systems. File systems got some solid improvements too. BTRFS now supports large folios. EXT4 sees better scalability for block allocation and buffered IO and EROFS introduces metadata compression. There's even a new driver that lets Linux access Intel discrete GPUs on NVM devices. When it comes to hardware support, Linux 6.17 really shines. It improves compatibility for the framework laptop 13 with AMD Ryzen AI 300, adds support for Asus commercial laptops with the CS35L 41HDA audio chip, and improves driver support for the HP EliteBook X360830G6 and HP EliteBook 830G6. Raspberry Pi users are getting love too with a new regulator for the 7-inch Raspberry Pi V, two display pinmux slash pinconf support for the Pi 1, and support for the Argon 40 Fan 8. There's also SoundWire support for AMD's AZP 7.2 platform, plus support for MacBook Pro touch bars, force pad F21 devices, and the One X Player X1 Pro handheld. If you're eager to try it out, Linux kernel 6.17 is already available for download from kernel.org or directly from Linus Torvalds' Git tree. But unless you're compiling your own kernels, it's probably best to wait until your Linux distro officially rolls it out in the stable repositories, just to avoid any surprises. And now that 6.17 is officially out, the merge window for Linux 6.18 is open. The first release candidate will be out on October 12th, and the final version is expected around late November or early December 2025, possibly as the next LTS release. Linus mentioned that he already has dozens of pull requests lined up, so development is moving fast as always. So yeah, that's what's new in Linux kernel 6.17. Tons of hardware improvements, better performance, and uh, some major updates for developers and enthusiasts alike. If you're into Linux or open source tech, this is definitely a release to keep an eye on. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you're planning to upgrade to Linux 6.17 or waiting for your distro's update.